Vayner Nation, thank you so much for listening to The Plane Project. I just want to give a huge shout out to Serendipity. If the uh, Wi-Fi was not broken on my flight from Sweden to New York, this would have never happened. Kind of uh, just got my work done, sat, somehow got ridiculously inspired. Please bear with me with the quality of the audio. Obviously, I was in the air and in that zone. I hope you enjoy this. I'm like almost like a rant album. I'm very proud of it. I have a funny feeling a lot of you would value out of it. And I would love to know which one was your favorite rant. Enjoy this, enjoy this, enjoy this. See ya. Hunger, there's nothing better. How hungry are you? How much do you really want it? Be proud of your hunger. Do not suppress your ambition. Look, it is a good thing. Build the biggest thing you can build. Do not tear down other people's projects but do not be embarrassed of wanting to build the biggest project of them all. Do not suppress your hunger. Do not allow anybody to tell you it is wrong. Do not let anybody tell you that you're dreaming too big, too high. Have practicality in it. Deploy patience in it. Understand the audacity of it. Protect your ambition. It is absolutely, fundamentally one of your secret sauces, but please do not let ambition cloak and trick you into thinking you can do the wrong things. Your ambition does not need to be fulfilled at the expense of others. In fact, when harnessed properly, your ambition should inspire and help so many. Please think about your legacy in your teens and your 20s and your 30s and your 40s. And please, if you are in your 50s and 60s, understand the circumstances of technology have created a format for you to exploit and enjoy that it is not too late for you to rekindle your diminishing ambition that your phone and the distributions of the modern day platforms and YouTube and Instagram and LinkedIn and podcast create an opportunity for the next three decades of your life to harness your dwindling ambition. Please, please harness your ambition and mold it into the incredible thing that it can be and the driving force to the happiness of your life. Parents, please let them win on their terms, not yours. Your children are not a direct indication of who you are. They're a byproduct, there's proxies, there's things. But so many of you are deploying your insecurities about yourself on your children because you genuinely care about what people around you are saying about them. Other families, other friends, other relatives talking about your kids. You value their POVs more than listening to your own children. It's not necessarily the words. It's their actions. It is your job as a leader of a family to reverse engineer the players in the game and put them in the best position to succeed. And the thought that so many of you are parenting your children predicated on your short-term fulfillment of other people's opinions devastates the shit out of me. And one day will devastate you too. And probably devastates you right now. And so if that line hit you directly in your fucking heart or your brain, please do something about it. I may never make a video more important to me than this. I'm the byproduct of the most incredible parents who disproportionately put me in a position to succeed because they were confident in who they were and did not allow other people to judge them and allowed me to live in happiness and be who I was. So please, parents, please understand that your concern of being judged by artificial truths is positioning your children not to fulfill the happiness that you have to want for them. It also creates an unbelievable weakness for them not to be able to deal. I am able to deal because my mother and father put me into a framework that allowed me to fail, and allowed me to be me. Please don't let your insecurities be imposed and please don't hide them under the false statements that you're trying to do what's right for them. What's right for them is to give them freedom to be themselves. As long as it is noble and fair, do not judge their creativity or the angles they see that you do not see now. Please. High, low, left, right, opposite directions. Pull from them. Find your balance in your extremes. Hold those opposite feelings and try to make diamonds out of the friction. And I believe so many of you 
are so different professionally than you are in your regular life. In that context, please start trying to understand the things that make you tick in your extreme differences that you pull from other directions because in there is the magic, in there is the happiness for the rest of your life. Try to reconcile and create frameworks and conversations and debates with yourself to how you can pull in different directions, have different aspects of your game, be different in different scenarios and reconcile them and make them a clean, complex, understanding, concoction. Find your balance in your left and right, your dark and light, your open and closed, your aggressive and passive. Find your balance and communicate it. Everybody's got something. Everybody's sitting right now as we're watching this video, and they've got something that they're dwelling about. Something that's pulling them down. Something that's holding them back. Something that's happened a long time ago. Or something that's going on right now. Everybody's got something. And I just want people to know that. If we could just all play a little more empathy and realize that, it just makes it a little bit easier for you to deal with yours. Once you realize that, you stop worrying about everybody else. You know why? You stop worrying about everybody else because A, you realize they've got something, and B, you don't give a fuck about their opinion because they've got something. They come in different shapes and sizes. But to that fucking person, it's theirs. And so please, my friends, please understand that everybody's got their fucking pain. Now it's an even playing field. Deploy empathy and deploy confidence in yourself. Because nobody's judgment on you means shit. They've got something to you. It doesn't matter. 99% of things don't matter. How do you allow yourself to look at the small things? Like somebody has a nicer car or somebody has more followers on Instagram. Doesn't matter if your sister's winning or losing. It doesn't matter if your best friend's making $100,000 a year and you haven't figured out who you are. It doesn't matter. My friends, the only thing that matters is how you judge yourself inside your head and do you understand where you're going and how you're gonna do it and how long you have to get there. Do not be crippled by the short-term narrative based on things that do not matter because all the things that are being thrown at you on a daily basis that make you judge yourself in the short term don't matter. All those artificial doubts that were poured into your brain by your inner circle and your outer game don't matter. Please watch this video every day. Anytime something sucks like shit, remember it doesn't matter in the macro. There are only so few things that you will think about on your deathbed. So understand whatever the fuck you're upset about right now fundamentally doesn't matter. It just doesn't. In the end, what matters is did you do it your way? Did you die on your sword? Did you do it on your feet? Did you listen to yourself? And did you do it the right way? Please stop judging. <laughs> Judgment is fucking flying from every dimension, every angle. Everybody's judging and I'm just asking you please to stop. What the fuck are you to judge? Who the fuck do you think you are? I just am flabbergasted by people's inability to realize the hypocrisy of the judgments. You can judge in your mind, let it fester, let it articulate, but be thoughtful. Don't be quick to judge. Look at yourself first. Just because you may not be doing A, you might be doing C. Is there a difference? If you were in a mindset where judging and dragging somebody else down that contributes to your happiness, you fundamentally fucking lost this game. And I implore you that maybe this second starts the process of going in the other direction. Offense always beats defense. In this new world of communication where everybody has the power to share, judgment of others is at an all-time high in its distribution. But my friends, this has been the way it's always been from the get. Nothing has changed. It's time that we look at each other and understand what we really are and deal with the harsh, harsh truths of some of our shortcomings and judgment of others is at the tippy top. I will not judge you. You're you. I will talk about my truths. I will debate you. And who the fuck am I? I'm zero. I'm nobody. I will not judge you. You do you. Do it the way that you will build for your legacy. Allow it to be in a way that when everybody judges, that those 8 billion people judge you correctly the way you wish they would, the way that would make your grandkids proud. But I will spend zero of my moments judging. Zero. And I implore you to the same. I need nothing, and you need to learn how to figure that out too. When your expectation of others is zero, when you do not rely on a single person, emotionally or financially, when you create a game, a world, where you no longer put the responsibility on your parents or older brother, your mentor, society, a country, a flag, a race, a creed, 
when you take on full mother fucking responsibility for yourself in yourself, you require nothing of anybody else when you become that accountable. When you understand that it is on you truly and nobody owes you anything, it gets really, really quiet and then you can start really achieving something. Because when you aren't at the mercy of others, you win. It's never ever been more practical than right this second to be somebody that gives because of the way communication is now structured in our society, that the ability for everybody to distribute it is in play, and that the truth and karma has never been more practical and powerful. Please, my friends, step up and start doing more good behind the scenes, the stuff that people don't see. Give, give, give. And then if you need to ask, understand that the key to the give, give, give strategy is zero expectation. So many of you are giving with the thought of what you're gonna get in return. And my friends, that is not giving, that is manipulating the outcome in the midterm. Giving has never been more practical and never been more powerful because the depths of how it can be reached and passed on and the stories being told, be on that team. Please give if you can something more daily, always, forever. I want you to understand this project. I want you to understand it. I am driven by guilt and gratitude. I'm driven by them because I'm so thankful and I feel so honestly guilty to my parents and my circumstance. I thank everybody for all those losses I took along the way. From the kids that made me drink piss out of a Pepsi can because I couldn't speak English in Dover, New Jersey. I thank you, Dover. I thank the school system for creating a game that does not allow the ambitious and creative and the people that see it to succeed in the short term. I thank the friends and family who whispered behind my back, who casted a narrative of my success because I was losing in the framework of the 80s and 90s where college and school was the only variable of an indicator of your success. I thank them. And most of all, I thank my mother and father and my sister and brother who lived in the cocoon that I lived in for the first 18 years of my life that was limited in its vacation time escapism, that was limited in its abundance that would have become the weapons of my shortcomings. I thank, I thank them all and I'm driven by gratitude and guilt as I create this project. And I want my audience to understand that I spit fucking flames and bars for the rest of my life out of guilt and gratitude because I want it so fucking bad for you. I feel your pains and shortcomings. I feel them. I see them. I read them. I sense them. I can taste them. And what I want for you is what I have emotionally. So I come to you and deliver you the project on the plane as a collective rant that I hope inspires the switch from defense to offense that becomes the fuel to your happiness. And I remind all of you, all your shortcomings and losses and negativity is yesterday. It is all fundamentally behind you even the worst of it. And it is up to you to step forward and start positive offense as your new truth. And I beg that for you. And I hope this fucking project suffocated it and inspired it and created it and enabled it. And I love you.